March coming in like a lamb. Uh, in fact, we're going to challenge records coming up this afternoon, uh, expecting temperatures to top off in the low to mid 70s. Many of the records on this date uh, date back to 2006. Uh, Poplar Bluff and Mount Vernon records dating back to 1976. But uh, we're already off to a, a pretty good start out there if we're going to challenge some records. Seeing a little sunshine through some of the high thin clouds. Those clouds continue to thicken up, though. And despite that, we're still going to see temperatures rise due to the southwest winds. Live views from Mount Vernon. Metropolis, Poplar Bluff, Missouri, and right on the Benton Square. These are temperatures here a little after 11 a.m. Uh, right now we're near 70, right now 69 in Mount Vernon, 70 already in Marion, 75 degrees right now in Paducah. Poplar Bluff at 68, Fredericktown, Missouri at 68, Cape still at 68, and Sykeston right now at 70. Widening out the view just a bit, uh, we've got uh, Carbondale at 69, Memphis at 71. There is some colder air out to our west. Kansas City at 52. You can see the warm, humid air getting brought up into our region. There is a weak cold front just to our north and west. Tracking some showers to our south back in the parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. That's staying away from us, at least here for the time being. At lunchtime, we'll see uh, temperatures continuing to climb all into the low to mid 70s this afternoon. About 74 from Carbondale, Marion to Harrisburg. 75 today in Paducah. Now, this is about 4 p.m. Much of the area is still dry, but we will be tracking some showers and storms set to develop towards the late part of the afternoon and into the early evening hours. Looks like storms will start to form right around sunset and stick around through the early afternoon. Now, the focus is going to be right along the Ohio River, the Missouri Boot Hill, Western Kentucky, and Northwest Tennessee. Chances for seeing some of these storms much lower. Mount Vernon, anywhere from Carbondale, even northward to DeCoin and Pinckneyville. I think your chances of seeing rain this evening are very small. By 9 o'clock, any chance for stronger storms gets out of here. And uh, overnight, we'll see a bit of a lull in the rain tomorrow morning. Waking up, we could see some upper 30s again, uh, low 40s on average across much of the region. And then Thursday afternoon, we start to see some showers increasing from the south. And then by Thursday night, well, here comes the rain and a lot of heavy rain on the way. Some thunder, some lightning possible and into the early morning hours on Friday. We could also see once again an isolated strong storm or two. This is another big potent storm system. Friday morning we will wake up temperatures in the upper 50s and falling temperatures as the colder air gets wrapped in on the back side of this thing. So uh, some big changes. That storm system is also going to bring another round of strong winds. Today, though, Storm Prediction Center has uh, far southern Illinois, western Kentucky, the Missouri Boot Hill and a level one on a scale of one to five. A uh, strong storm could have large hail. I uh, still think overall that's going to be somewhat isolated. And then tomorrow night, early Friday morning, another level one for much of our region. At this point, I think the biggest threat for our region is going to be heavy rain. We're talking widespread two to three inches of rainfall. Uh, we could see some isolated totals even higher than that. So the flooding threat will be pretty high right now. That's primarily focused across southeast Missouri, but you can see the entire viewing area is in a medium flood threat Thursday night and into Friday. Friday, in addition to the heavy rain, the falling temperatures, we're talking winds outside of thunderstorms, possibly gusting near 50 miles per hour. Much quieter weather on the way this weekend. Some sunshine returns on Saturday. Highs in the mid 50s, bouncing back in the upper 50s uh, by Sunday. We're back in the mid 60s by Monday, but very, very active, Brooke, over the next three days. Well, it sounds like try to enjoy the calm, you know, this afternoon at least. Hard to believe it's beautiful outside.